Hello everyone! Today I'm gonna make a different kind of video. Today I'm gonna talk about my experience, the pros and cons of working from home because it's been a little more than a year now that I've been working from home full-time so I work my 40 hours a week what do I do I'm an online teacher I teach English and I teach Italian and I do other things too but the main job is this online teaching I don't work for a company so it means that I have full control of all my decisions which could be good and bad but this is a different topic today I mainly want to talk about pros and cons of working from home and also my husband Brian he is a youtuber slash does many many things but he works from home too let's get to it I apologize for the messy look but I was just teaching and now I have a break and I thought I really wanted to make this video so here I am let's start with the pros you know let's start with the positive side of working from home so the first thing you're probably thinking and you're right is the commute time is no commute. Yes, yes. I wake up upstairs and I work downstairs. This is nice. I do appreciate it a lot because I don't like to drive. It's true. I can. I usually just wake up 90 minutes before I start teaching so that I can get ready, have breakfast, prepare my day a little bit and start teaching. So nice because I don't like to wake up early. I know you're probably like jealous a little bit right now, but, but there are cons too. So just wait a bit so the second positive side is um financial i mean it's kind of like related to the commute i don't have to pay for an office i don't have to spend a lot of money on gas or parking train tickets because i have no commute of course i have to pay for good wi-fi and other things but i mean it's cheaper than working somewhere else unless they pay for all your expenses the third pro and this is like really important to me i'm a little anxious i'm a little bit anxious working from home means that i don't really spend a lot of time with other people except for my students but i don't have my manager right next to me i don't have a boss looking at me pros and cons guys this is not always a good thing but for me since i'm a little bit anxious and i'm a perfectionist i always need to be perfect and the best and prepared and everything if i have a manager if i have a boss looking at me i feel i feel the pressure a lot maybe because i'm a perfectionist and i always want to give 100 percent but it's realistically not doable to do it all the time and it used to give me a lot of stress there are some positive sides of having a manager right there or a boss right there it's true but I have to admit lower stress levels overall just because I am my supervisor and I'm a very strict supervisor guys trust me like I'm probably the worst boss because I want a lot and I push myself a lot but overall I feel less stressed the fourth pro is probably having a more flexible schedule of course since i'm a teacher it's not like i work on a website i still have to follow a certain schedule like if i have lessons from 10 to 1 from 10 to 1 i cannot do anything else but i'm able to optimize the time before and after i work if i need to go to the grocery store if i need to be here because amazon's coming to deliver a package i'm here it's convenient it is Plus, since I also work for myself, I'm also able to adjust my schedule a little bit. Of course, I have to consider my students' needs, but that's a little different because working from home not, doesn't necessarily mean working independently. But in general, I think you are able to optimize your time a little bit more. But these are the pros that I can think of right now. I, mean, <laughs> I have to admit that last winter I wasn't feeling so good for like a week or so. I was feeling a little bit under the weather and since I was teaching online, I... I just wore my pajamas pants <laughs> couldn't have done it at an office but now let's talk about the cons yes there are some cons and I've seen it mainly with Brian because I like working from home maybe more than Brian does my husband the first con is not having co-workers you can't imagine why because maybe you feel lonely maybe you want to talk a little bit with someone else maybe you want to talk to someone who is in your same position or 
even because it's easier to learn because they're all in the same field and you see and you learn but with my job when I want some training I need to go and find online courses online training so it's a little bit more complicated in an office you feel like you're a part of a group but here it's just you it gets lonely sometimes con number two this is not mine because I have a gift I can focus for real I can focus for hours if I'm doing something I just start working and I don't even hear you if you call me that's crazy but I like it Brian doesn't because when I'm focused I'm like later and I just keep working but overall I'd say that it is harder to focus if you're at home because you have so many distractions and you have your TV and you have your dog my dog's right there people calling I mean you might argue that it's the same at an office it is maybe but you also have the motivation of I need to focus everybody's here everybody's watching me I must work here when I teach I have to teach it's not like I can just go and watch TV of course but you, if you had a different job like Brian's job maybe you have to make a YouTube video it's easy to get distracted especially because there's no one there looking at you so mm, five more minutes ten more minutes then this is especially true for me and a bit less for Brian it's hard to stop working because when you work in the same place you live even though your working days over you know your computer's still there your agenda's still there you know you have to make a lesson plan you know you have to get back to that student make that exercise correct that voice message it's hard to to say like oh, okay today I taught for seven eight hours I'm done uh, you, you still want to work at least I do and it's really hard for me to say this is my weekend I shouldn't do anything mm. Brian is a little bit better at this overall I'd say that working from home is good for me because of this big 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 pro I can travel my husband's American I'm Italian we love Japan working from home allows us to travel to go to America for three months go to Japan for three months stay in Italy when we need to stay in Italy and we can keep working so it's not like oh let's go on holiday no we keep working but we live somewhere else so this is the main reason why I love working from home but I won't deny that sometimes it's a little bit hard but I think for me the hardest part of my job is not working from home is the fact that I work for myself so if you're interested in this I can make another video about working independently working for yourself and what it's like for me but besides that working from home I don't mind it I'm not anti-social I'm really social and I used to like working in my office when I was in Japan but working from home is not a problem either I just wanted to share my experience and I can't wait for you guys to leave a comment below and tell me if you like these kinds of videos if you want me to make a video about my experience as an entrepreneur mm, anything anything now I should go back to work because I have a lesson soon thank you for watching and see you soon bye